Hi all, welcome back. Today also I am in a black mode mode. <laughs> yes, we are going to learn a problem part from operations research and I had selected this topic because this is very important topic in most of the OR exams. This question is repeatedly asked that is find out critical path and project duration from the following. This problem part comes into critical path method and PET that is project evaluation and review technique. Let's move directly to the problem. In the problem part this much will be given. Activity TO time, TM time and TP time. Before going to the problem we have to be well known about these three terms. What is TO, TM and TP? What is TO? TO is optimistic time. Optimistic time means it is the shortest time to complete a particular activity. So that is TO. Most shortest time to complete a particular activity. Again TM. TM is the most likely time. It is the most likely time means most frequently occurred time to complete a particular activity. Again TP. TP is pessimistic time. From the word itself it is the longest time to complete a particular activity. It is the high time to complete a particular activity. Just look the values here. TO, optimistic time, shortest time. Here all the values are small compared to TM. TM is most likely time. This is also little bit greater than TO but in between TO and TP. Pessimistic, pessimistic time it is the longest time to complete a particular activity. So here it is the maximum time. Okay. So this much will be given in the question. And we have to find TE value. TE means total estimated time. Estimated time is very important. That we have to find. So estimated time that is TE expected time or estimated time to complete a particular activity from this three value we can find the expected time there's a formula to apply for that that is te is equal to to plus 4 tm plus tp the whole divided by 6 okay this is the formula by using this formula we can do this problem and we can find the te value that is the expected time value so here the first one i will do directly that is to what is the to here 2 2 plus 4 tm here tm is 5 so 4 into 5 20 yes right 20 plus tp it is directly given 14 the whole divided by 6 which is equal to 48 divided by 6 which is equal to 6. The first project duration from 1 to 2 is expected is 6. Okay. Again, just like this we have to solve all this problem. 9 plus 4 into 12 plus 15 the whole divided by 6 it is 12 just like that 5 plus 4 into 14 plus 17 the whole divided by 6 it is 13 2 plus 4 into 15 plus 8 the whole divided by 6 it is 5 8 plus 17 into 4 plus 20 the whole divided by 6 it is 16 and finally 6 plus 4 into 9 plus 12 the whole divided by 6 it is 9 okay so we had got expected time 
Now we can forget about this three column. The usage of this three column is completed. This is completely defined TE value. Okay, now we have to be looked this activity region and this time TE that is expected time region and we can draw the project diagram. The project diagram is from one it is starting right just draw it one and put a circle here from one to two okay simply with a logical skill one to two and the duration what is the duration for one to two it is six mark it it is very important when we are drawing a project diagram the duration the time to reach from one event to the next event the duration for the for reaching from one event to next event it is very important so write that time very uh, with very cautious manner again one to three next event is from one to three what is the timing here 12 okay duration is 12 again 2 to 4 and 3 is also going towards 4 so we can put 4 here 2 to 4 3 to 4 what is 2 to 4 duration it is 13 and 3 to 4 duration it is 5 okay next 3 to 5 4 to 5 so we can put 5 here in a logical sense we have to draw the diagram okay 4 to 5 and 3 to 5 okay 3 to 5 what is the timing 16 and 4 to 5 what is the timing it is 9 right 9 oh. this is the project diagram so I think this much is clear. We had guard TE value that is expected timing value. We have drawn the project diagram. This is the project diagram. This is the project diagram. Okay. Next step is we have to find the TE and TL values that we can look. Now by analyzing this project diagram we can do the other part of this problem. The next step is first step we had to find it is project diagram. Okay. The next step is we have to find the TE and TL values. Okay. So TE values. TE. What is TE? TE is earliest of the tail event values we are going to find. So, what is E1? E1 is in all the problem, E1 will be 0. First event, okay, there is no duration here. So, E1 is 0 here. Then what is E2? E2 is E1 plus duration from 1 to 2. That is E1 plus duration from 1 to 2. What is it here? E1 is 0. 0 plus what is the duration from 1 to 2? It is 6. So E2 is equal to 6. Okay. Then what is E3? Here, E3 is equal to just the same. E1 from here, E3 is going right. E1 plus duration from E1 to E3. That is 12. So, E1 plus 12, which is equal to 0 plus 12, it is 12. So, with this diagram, we can find all the E values. Okay. E4. Here there is a confusion. Why? Because from E2 also a path is moving towards E4. From E3 also a path is moving towards E4. In this condition we have to do max we have to take the value maximum of 
e2 plus duration from 2 to 4 or e3 plus duration from 3 to 4 which one is maximum that we have to take so e4 e4 is equal to maximum of e2 e2 plus duration of 2 to 4 here it is 13 otherwise e3 plus duration of e3 to e4 it is 5 okay which one is maximum so maximum of e2 plus 13 e to what we got 6 13 plus 6 it is 19 e3 plus 5 what is the e3 value here 12 12 plus 5 it is 17 which is maximum maximum is 19 so e4 we got as 19 just like that e5 e5 also a path is from e4 and another path is from e3 so the same condition will apply here we have to take maximum of e4 e4 plus duration of e4 to e5 e4 to e5 it is 9 or duration of e3 plus e3 to e5 duration that is e3 plus duration of e3 to e5 here it is 16 okay 16 so what is it maximum of e4 what is e4 value we have got it is 19 19 plus 9 that is 28 again e3 plus duration of e3 to e5 e3 what is e3 here 12 12 plus 16 so 28 both we are getting 28 so we can take 28 okay this is about te value e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 all the te values we have got now we can find the tel values tel values means latest of the tail event here which is the latest event is it one or five one is the earliest event right so the latest event is five so l5 is equal to e5 value e5 we had already calculated that is 28 so 28 next l4 l4 just look from 5 l4 activity is moving so l5 minus l5 minus duration from 5 to 4 it is l5 minus duration from 5 to 4 it is 9 okay so l4 activity is equal to 28 minus 9 which is equal to 19 then l3 for l3 from 5 also a path is moving towards 3 from 4 also a path is moving towards 3 so here there are two paths in this case we have to apply the formula minimum of path from l5 to duration of l5 to 3 here it is 16 l4 minus duration of 4 to 3 it is 5 so what is here l5 28 minus l16 it is 12 l4 19 19 minus 5 that is 14 which one is minimum 12 so l3 is equal to 12 l2 for l2 from 4 l2 is moving right no other path so l4 minus duration of 4 to 2 so l4 minus duration of 4 to 2 it is 13 which is equal to l4 is 19 19 minus 13 
19 minus 13 or 3 it is 13 right so it is 6 okay next L1 L1 in this case also two parts are there from 2 also to 1 from 3 also to 1 so here also we have to apply the formula minimum of L2 to duration from 2 to 1 that is 6 L3 to duration of 3 to 1 that is 12 that is here L2 minus 6 what is L2 value here it is 6 6 minus 6 0 L3 what is L3 value here 12 12 minus 12 it is also 0 so minimum of 0 and 0 it is obviously 0 L1 is 0 so now we have find the project diagram and we have find the second step though that is TE and TL values till now we had find project diagram TE and TL values for easy understanding I had written here TE and TL values and the next step is we have to find the float in order to find the float we have to find EST, EFT, LST, LFT what is EST? EST is earliest of the tail event EFT is earliest of the tail event plus project duration just like that here LFT LFT is latest of the occurrence of head activity and LST is LFT minus project duration so I think there is much more clarification is needed so for that we can do the problem just look here EST earliest of the tail event here what is the tail event 1 okay E1 value what is E1 value it is 0 just like that here also the tail event is 1 so the value is E1 it is 0 here it is 2 right the value of E2 is 6 it is written 6 here and here it is 3 to 4 the tail event is 3 so what is the value of e3 it is 12 which is written here again 3 3 to 5 so 12 here 4 to 5 which is the tail event 4 so e4 is 9d okay we got est so what is eft EST plus project duration that is EFT so 0 plus 6 which is 6 0 plus 12 which is 12 13 plus 6 that is 19 5 plus 12 that is 17 16 plus 12 that is 28 9 plus 19 that is also 28 so now we have find EST and EFT value so what is EST tail event occurrence activity is calculated E1 values E2 values we had written here EFT is this one plus project duration okay so that is also written here next we have to find LST and LFT for easy uh, doing of this problem we have to find LFT first after doing LFT only we can find LST LFT is latest occurrence of head event of that particular project diagram so here which is the head 2 so L2 what is L2 here it is 6 okay 6 then here it is 3 what is L3 L3 is 12 okay what is L4 L4 is 19 here also 3 to 4 so 4 L4 19 here 3 to 5 so in 5 L5 what is L5 28 
here also l5 so 28 this is the important thing after doing this two steps leave this do this and after that in order to find lst part l f t minus duration okay so 6 minus 6 it is 0 again l f t minus duration 12 minus 12 it is 0 again 19 minus 13 it is 6 again 19 minus 5 it is 14 again 28 minus 16 it is 12 and finally 28 minus 9 it is 19 now we had got all the four values okay next step is to find the float formula for finding the float is lst minus est that is this one lst minus est okay just we can do lst minus est 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 6 minus 6 0 14 minus 12 it is 2 12 minus 12 0 28 no uh, 19 minus 19 it is 0 so our table is completed now we can find the critical path or critical activities first we can find critical activities critical activities are the activity areas where the float is zero okay so here in except except one row all others are zero right so one to two our critical activities are one to two one to three again two to four again here it is two so it is not considered next three to five three to five and finally four to five so this is our critical activity here what will be the critical path we can look so 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 1 2 2 no here it is 1 2 2 just look 1 2 2 then 2 2 4 is here so here there is a confusion we can make it clear okay 1 to 2 then we are not taking this which means there is another more critical path so leave it 1 to 2 2 to 4 again 3 to 5 is not taken 4 to 5 so this is one critical path okay first path first path again 1 to 3 3 to 5 so this is another critical path so second critical path so here we got two critical path so just look what is the critical path duration or the project duration project duration is equal to the critical path duration that is here 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 5 it is 6 plus 13 plus 9 which is equal to 28 again we have one more critical path right 1 to 3 3 to 5 here also it is 12 plus 16 so that is 28 so we got two critical path here just look in this two way one way we can select this path otherwise we can select this path in both of this way we can complete that particular project task so this is about the problem i think i had cleared all the uh, crucial part of the problem that is 
while doing TE and TEL, we are taking maximum, minimum, just like that type of calculation. Again, here when we got two critical path, what we have to do? I had done that. So I think you are more clear about this topic. So in next class, we can meet with another interesting topic for discussion. Till then, bye.